It would be really cool if this artwork in these cafes, these creatives are creating, could be could be brought online and everybody could kind of just purchase it online. But it was the goal of it was a two sided marketplace, bringing artists together with public spaces like restaurants and cafes for sale to the public. There's also just always been this challenge for artists to get an audience mm. before they've got you know gallery representation. And yeah, I think just in the B two B world, especially in the you know, high-end commercial world, commercial design world, people want things quickly and they want it to be real accurate. And now we have yeah. like a query, if you will, that can go and, and find it in, in an, in an AI-ish context to go for it. The AI is pretty good at pulling out what the most important ones are of what that person's saying. Like if I pick a song, it's going to show me other songs in that genre that I do like pretty well. You got to get them down to a choice space where you're happy. It's about prepping that option in a way where where they've got like a couple of options or maybe a few, but they're Definitely. happy with it because they feel like you did a bunch to get them there. That's an interesting thought that part of part of them determining that they liked it was actually the process that you went through and the work that you went through. So so that piece, it, like that that piece I was even describing was for Amazon, but the Amazon had 20 different locations and they wanted really local, original, custom artwork. I, I do think that AI will be, it, it will be a new medium that people use in artwork creation. Kind of where the AI ends is where the creativity will begin for artists and how they manipulate it will be something new and different.